the most expensive home in the world. Ever dreamed of waking up in a home with gold-covered furniture, butlers tending to your every need, luxury cars beyond your wildest imagination? If you haven't, then we're not on the same page. For those of us who want to live the good life, we can now feast our eyes on the world's most expensive building. If you're not taking into consideration the royal palaces around the world, this is the most expensive residential home in the entire world. So without further ado, let's jump right into the nitty gritty of the marvels that await you inside this breathtaking mansion. What is the most expensive house in the world? Its name is Antilia, and there's a little backstory about it we'd like to share. The house was named by the Antilia Island, which was discovered in the 15th century, and it's located on the west coast of Spain and Portugal. Legend has it that seven bishops, trying to escape the Muslim rule in the 8th century AD, loaded their ships and fled to this island, where they formed seven settlements, which later grew to be known as the Seven Kingdoms. Once their kingdoms were built, they burned the ships in which they sailed to symbolize their independence. The city later became discovered by merchants who sailed to the island and they described it as a utopian society where the common problems menacing the Spanish and Portuguese societies didn't exist there. While a little lore never hurt anyone, why did the owner choose this name for his house? Although no public statements have been made about the decision of the name, we think it might have something to do with the rich background of the island. Who owns it? Whenever we look at this house, we can't help but wonder who's the guy behind this unbelievable structure. The name is Mukesh Ambani from the Ambani family. He is also the richest man of India and the 20th richest man in the world with a net worth of 51.1 billion US dollars. What will you find inside? And at long last, we will now take a peek inside the life of luxury, wealth and elegance created by the Ambani family. The house cost Mukesh around $70 million to construct, but due to inflation in the real estate market over the past years, the house now has a valuation of around $1 billion, and that's billion with a B. That's a whopping 15-time multiple from its initial cost for construction. The only home that's more expensive than Antilia is the Buckingham Palace, and if you rule out royal houses, this is actually the world's most expensive residential property. The house has 27 floors, so to describe all of them properly, you will first need to hit that like button if you haven't done so. But in all seriousness, to describe the house, we will start from the bottom and work our way up. Each of the floors was specifically designed and is much taller than an ordinary skyscraper floor. If you were to put average height floors inside the Antilia, you could fit 60 of them in it. That's because the building is 567 feet high. The first floors are designed as a garage which holds 168 cars. You know you can combine them with your outfit and stuff. The garage is 6 stories high and there are 2 high speed elevators that take you to the garage, 3 that take you to the guest room, 2 for the family and 2 for the workers. That's a total of 9 high speed elevators in one home. If you don't fancy luxury cars, you could take a helicopter and land on one of the 3 helipads located at the top of the building. This house is so big, it covers an area of around 400,000 square feet, which is reportedly bigger than the Palace of Versailles in Paris. So you could say that Ambani is living better than a king. If you ever wanted some recreation after a hard day's work, you can turn on the home movie theater that has a capacity to host 80 people, or you can learn some new dance moves in the specially equipped dance studio. If dancing is not your thing, you can always pump some iron. The house has a huge gym where the family works out. If you wanted to truly feel like a king, you could take the elevator to the ballroom, where you can host special parties and gatherings. 80% of its ceiling is covered in chandeliers, and the floors are covered with finely woven Indian rugs and carpets. We all know that days can be pretty hot in Mumbai, so why not jump inside the indoor swimming pool? the jacuzzi, or even relieve some stress in your very own spa. One of the real kickers about this house is the ice room, where you can enjoy winter all year round with an electronic snowblower that consistently shoots snowflakes to make you feel like you're in a winter wonderland. The multiple terraces, surrounded by plants and herbs, gives you an incredible panoramic view of Mumbai, but the prized possession of the house is the temple, where the family performs their religious rituals and prayers. So what does a man have to do in order to be able to build such a house? 
Who is Mukesh Ambani? Believe it or not, Ambani was born in a poor family that originated from Yemen. His father later decided to move to Mumbai, India, where Mukesh later built his empire. In his youth, one of the richest people in the world used public transportation and lived in a small two-bedroom apartment with his entire family. He was an ordinary Joe. After Ambani got his BE degree in chemical engineering, he enrolled in Stanford for an MBA. While studying abroad, his father started his very first company called Reliance Industries Limited. Due to the fast growth of the company, he told Ambani to come back to India and help him with the business. His father didn't really approve of the whole classroom education and believed that true knowledge could only be obtained through real-life experience. He made his wealth in the petroleum industry, and he is responsible for a fifth of India's exports. He then created two other subsidiaries under Reliance Industries Limited. So now that we found out a little more about his background, what inspired him to create this house? Or in other words, what inspired the design? To construct the house, the Australian construction company called Leighton Contractors were signed to the job. It took them seven years to complete building the house. The house was finished in 2010, so construction began somewhere in the beginning of 2003. The design was inspired by Hindi religious motifs, and the house is divided into six parts. Why six, you ask? They symbolize the six natural elements, earth, water, fire, air, sound, and light. They were placed in this order to resemble the human body's ascent to enlightenment, much like the chakras in the body. The two reoccurring inspirational objects throughout the house are the lotus and the sun, symbolizing rebirth. When looking at the house, one can't help but notice the excessive amounts of plants and greenery all over the house walls. This was done purposefully. The vegetation on the walls of the building are placed so they can absorb sunlight, keeping the house as cool as possible throughout the hot summer days in Mumbai. The house is not just beautiful, but also extremely safe. It was designed to be able to survive a disastrous earthquake, with a rate of 8 on the Richter scale. So, the family knows it's safe and secure inside this marvelous creation. How do they keep it clean? This is the only residence of the Ambani family, where six of them live in extravagant luxury. So, who takes care of the cleanliness of the home? A staff of 600. That's right, 600 people including cleaners, chefs, butlers, and much more, take care of the house and keep it in impeccable order. Where is the home located? As we said, the house is located in the commercial capital of India, Mumbai. This city is home to the Indian movie industry known as Bollywood, where almost all of the Indian movies are made. The house is located in the affluent neighborhood where the richest people of India build their homes. It overlooks the Arabian Sea and the neighborhood is very close to the city center. The city is home to the Indian movie industry known as Bollywood, where almost all of the Indian movies are made, but Mumbai is also the city which has the biggest slum in the world. That's it for today, guys. Do you know what some of the luxury cars inside the Antilla? Please tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified of any future uploads. As always, thanks for watching.